Today's subject, Leslie has no idea what we're getting ready to talk about. You already know because you've seen the title and the thumbnail. But Leslie has no idea because I wanted to get her complete, candid uh, reaction God. to what we're going to talk about today. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. What we're going to talk about today is what happens if you die in an RV park? Oh my God. No one talks about this. No, they but don't. But it can happen. It can. And what sparked this is we were at Thousand Trails yeah. Orlando and mm -hmm. an employee there that was also a permanent resident there yeah. in an RV died. Yeah, suddenly, unexpectedly. We don't know all the details behind it, but yeah. it got me thinking about what happens if you die, especially if you live alone. Yeah. Well, I, I've always been curious. Yeah. I've mentioned it a few times, like, you have an older neighbor, you're like, if I don't see him for a few days, should I be worried? Yeah. When they're the really older, so permanent. I know what happened there, and we discovered that because we were riding our bikes around, mm -hmm. and we passed by this area, they had the little yellow tape up, the medical examiner was on site, Yeah. there were a couple of investigators, you could tell, because they were like... In their slacks and white button-down shirts, yeah, you know, their badges on their thing, yeah. which led us to believe that it was some type of a criminal investigation. But yeah, you would think. But Thousand Trails Orlando later put out a message saying that it was an accidental uh, death, um, or maybe just a sudden medical issue. Yeah, they didn't really go into detail, but it was it was sudden, unexpected, and so because he worked there, um, they probably discovered him quickly. Yeah. However, if you're a camper, especially by yourself, mm -hmm. what's going to happen? Yeah. Like, like, are we waiting to, to smell? That's that's what I want to know. Like, Yeah. So we're going to talk about a couple of things that, um, that you can maybe do to, well, you can't prevent your death, but no. in the event that you do die or something happens, someone will at least know where you're at, yeah. how to find you, what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You got you, People need to know where you are. Especially for us full-timers, because we're out and we move so much. Uh, that a lot of times our family don't even know no. where we are. Yeah. We're ahead by several weeks on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so I have three or four weeks of videos scheduled to post, which will post whether I die or no. not. Yeah. So, so, so it'll be several weeks before anybody knows that we're not even on YouTube anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll be pretty smelly by then. Mm -hmm. So we got a few tips. Okay, so first, obviously, um, someone needs to know where you are. Yeah, in real time. Exactly. Whether that be a family member, a friend, um, whatever. I mean, even if you have close RVing friends, yeah, they just kind of keep up with you in real time, you texting checking. back and yeah. forth. You know, because we have close friends uh, in the RV community that that we text with or communicate Frequently. with. On, yeah, and if if that communication stopped, or if they texted us and we didn't get back to them, they'd be like, something's not right with the wags. Yeah, and we got to figure out what's going on with them. Yeah, because like if I don't respond to a text in a 24 hours, you should just assume something happened to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, one of the other tips is you could put something on the lock screen of your cell phone. Yes. Which, which um, we didn't think about that for this purpose initially. On our lock screen, it says if if lost. If, if yeah, if found. Or and, yeah, if found. Like my phone says, if found, it's your number. Exactly. Call this number, and on your phone it says, if found, call my number. Yeah. But you should also, and we probably will do this, also on your lock screen put, in case of emergency, emergency. contact, I'll put her number first, but then put a secondary Same. number, like a parent or a, 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 a sibling you know, or a child, Somebody, a, yeah. an adult child, yeah. um, so that someone knows yeah. that something has happened to you. Yeah. In the event that like we're like away from the RV park, we get in like a car wreck, we're both dead, yeah. no one knows anything so yeah. they have to have some kind of an information because our address on our license is is Lauren's address so yeah. it eventually they would contact, contact her but it might take a while yeah um, so you gotta think about that stuff so we also have um, the life 360 app yes so our not that our kid checks not on that us. she's gonna look at it but <laughs> but it does give her a real-time location for us, yeah. where we are. So if she suspected that there was an issue, she could look at the Life360 app. She could zoom in to whatever campground we're at. She could contact that office and say, hey, look. If she took that initiative yeah. to call. I haven't heard <laughs> from my lazy. parents. My Life360 <laughs> says that they're at your RV park. Can you check, check on them? Yeah. So that's a good, a good thing, too. It is too. a good feature. Um, 
you could also put a document in your vehicle, uh, which we do for Scout. We do this for Scout, absolutely. Uh, we've done that for a couple months now. Yeah. So we have in a document protector uh, a generic write-up with blanks so we can fill it in based on where we are at the time. But it says if something, you know, goes wrong, we have a pet at this RV park at this site in the number to the place. Exactly. And even if it takes him a, a day or two to find that. For him it would be fine because fine. he's a lizard. He could go o yeah. over a week and, and not be dead. But anybody traveling with cats, dogs, yeah. you know, any other animals. Yeah, you will definitely want to have something in your vehicle to let uh, authorities know that you have a pet. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, they could starve to death mm -hmm. or die of, die uh, of dehydration heat. Yeah. or heat or whatever the case. So we do that for Scout, and we change mm -hmm. that address every time we move. We put it in the glove box, and hopefully the carnage isn't bad enough to where they won't find that. But yeah. at least we got a chance. Yes. <laughs> or Scout has a chance. Scout has a chance. <laughs> um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, what do you do if you think a neighbor is dead? Because yes. that has happened to us. Multiple times. <laughs> I have literally sat there, and I know you've, you've like, why is she fixated on this? But... But when your neighbor has no in or out movement, mm -hmm. lights are never on at night. Windows are open. Or cracked, because yeah. we had some that were cracked, and you're like, well, what the heck? Even if, during I rain. Get, if slides are in, most likely they're not yeah. there. But if slides are out, and you never see anybody, like, do you assume something happened to well, them? Well, I'll tell you the specific incident. When we were in Kansas, there was a Class A that pulled up right on the other side of us mm -hmm. and they got all set up it was an older couple yeah and it was cold yeah that, like it was, cold. that was in that arctic blast that we ran into yeah about. it was getting down into like the, thir the 20s 30s Thirds. at night mm -hmm. so they pulled in they hooked up and everything and i noticed that they ran an extension cord through one of their windows into the side <laughs> of their rv yeah and i'm thinking well they're just you know need some extra power or whatever or run out a heater yeah plugged into the 120 and then they had a tow vehicle which was in front of their their rv mm -hmm. and the next day we get up and their keys are still in one in of the, the control panel in that, the, yeah when you open up to do your leveling and stuff so the keys are still stuck in there they're dangling um no movement no lights there, there, there was one entry light, light yeah. that stayed on day and night that whole day it was on and at night it yeah. was on and so two days passed. Yes. No movement because I went over and knocked on the door to tell him that his keys were keys in the thing. No answer no to the answer. door. Yeah. No change in anything. The mm -hmm. cord's still running in the thing. The tow vehicle hasn't moved. Nope. And so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Something. these people CO or carbon monoxide <laughs> themselves <laughs> with whatever they plugged into this thing. Yeah. And so we actually went to the camp host and was like, I'm a little concerned. Sorry. Yeah. You know, we didn't want to go like. Full on, like, I think these people are dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to come off like I'm extremely nosy, like I'm tracking these people's <laughs> ins and outs. But, I mean... But, I mean, they were right there. You could see them out of our windows. Yeah, so at our, like, where our desk is, we yeah. faced right out to them. But, long story short, they, they're they not dead. No. Uh, they were out with friends. They, they were visiting Yeah. Family. So, they were staying at their house. Yeah. And uh, he had no idea. They left his keys in the thing. He said that he had been looking for them. Um, yeah. And he appreciated it. He us. did come back eventually and take them out. Yeah. I mean, but it's better safe than sorry. I would rather somebody go and be concerned be that concerned. I'm dead yeah. than do nothing at all. Yeah. And just leave my keys out there and everything crazy. Because it was keys to his car. Yeah. I mean, it was, RV. A, it was like the janitor's keys. It was a we lot of keys. And, and robbed him blind. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, and anyway. there are some shifty, shady people out there that would have exactly. noticed. Hey, nobody's been in and out for a couple days. These keys are here. <laughs> yeah. I might as well just go check the place out. <laughs> but um, yeah. anyway, that subject came up because of that incident out at Thousand Trails in Orlando. So we figured yeah. we would talk about it because no one really talks about it. And if you are a full-time RVer, it is really something that you need to think about. It, yes. If you're a weekender, not so much because you're gone for the weekend. If you don't come back to work, work people yeah. will notice. But if you're a full-timer, you really should have something in place yeah. for somebody to know you where should. you're at. In case you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right we hope you got something out of this and we hope that um you have changed your your plans to be able to communicate with someone it's, in case you it's die it's food for thought yeah you, sh <laughs> you should wonder about these things yeah well like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to learn more about how you can help us help vets on the road everything you need to know is in the description of this video 
We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.